Okay, nice stuff. Kind of wasted all the checkpoints by accident, but I don't think that's going to get me much grief. There's just this weird, like, shiny thing sound going on in the background right now. Uh, okay, well, I can't get up there. I guess we have to go through each of these, maybe four or something doors, and do stuff in each of them. Oh. I could get a life there, but I don't really want to. Where am I going? It isn't a maze after all. Let me your spiley faces game. Okay, cool. Still collecting things in these levels. And they're giving you a lot of checkpoint saves, it's kind of weird. But I grant that there are some things that can kill you instantly here, so... From that standpoint, it makes sense. But also giving you a lot of health. Oh, I love that. I still do. Still the... Hello. Still the th thing in this game that I really do love about it. Uh, the little physics bits. Okay, you guys, can, you guys have drawn enough with your coins. I don't even have any use for the coins. Okay, I, I cannot move left. Not Chuck. Stop being this way. Oh, okay. It's a way to. There you go. T Did I just dance that guy by just like running into them really quickly? Oh, so it's not just the the big guys. It's specifically the white ones. So those are the ones that count as yetis. Because it's specifically this Reese conversion that I have to find it for. Of okay. Oh boy. What? What was that? What? For the love of... You can go through things. Come on, hit me. Come on. This... It's sad that this is the sibling game to a game like we got on the DS. I really mean it. No! Ah. I'm just stuck here now, aren't I? Well... Okay, well, I can kind of... There. And here we are again. Uh, I will go back. Okay, I didn't go through that, but thanks. Stop that. I will... Oh? I missed Joey here the first time. What are you doing here? Alright. I guess I'll pick up a stamp. I don't know. I'm not sure how you died, but I'm not sure I care either. 
Okay, so back up we go. I don't know if I'm going to bother getting all the things here anymore at this point. Okay, so back up we go, hopefully. Oh, come on. I love how they give me all these checkpoints and they don't help me, because the ways that I actually become unable to proceed are completely outside the system of life and death. This is the yeti I want to deal with. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go through you. Why am I just going through you? Your collisions are ridiculous. Okay. Okay, so this time over here I will actually make a save state. Not the sort of thing I usually do, but... So we mean reduce reduced to. Okay, there we go. Oh man, is this is this gonna be it? Is this gonna be what grants us access to the final boss? Well, so be it. I don't remember which one I used last time. There you go. So be it then. Please, I swear, I'm so tired of this issue with Wii Remote. It's so weird that I haven't had this issue in other games before now. I really don't know if there's something that the game does for handling Wii Remote instability and whatnot. It makes some games better or better than others. I don't know what precisely the game sees in terms of Wii Remote stuff. I thought I would just kind of see an X, Y coordinate of where you're pointing, instead of like, and the more detailed information that the Wii Remote uses to determine where you're pointing and what angle it's at and stuff like that. But I don't know, I could be wrong. So this is rain cloud. So what kind of cloud will this be? Come on, I just want to draw a silly doodle. I just want to draw a silly doodle. Let's end up calling the whole thing. I don't know what path I found to do that with. Come on. This is probably the worst day I've had in terms of my remote being jumpy, honestly. 
Like, normally if I, if I just readjust it once or twice, it starts working just fine. Today has not been such a day. Also, outside of, out of all the gimmicks that Nintendo has had for different games and peripherals and so on, I feel like the Wii is the one that worked out the least well. Between how many games made an absolutely awful attempt to use the peripheral, and how finicky it is to use even on titles that know what they're doing, if you don't have the right setup for it. This is not the sort of thing that I want to, to take a meaningful amount of time. Me drawing this little doodle. Rain cloud. Oh, we gotta draw the rain though. There. Raindrop. Is this the last episode I'm recording this week? Because I feel like I should just finish the game. It is. If I'm as close to the end as I think I am, at least. It was kind of silly to be this close to the end without actually finishing it. We'll see. Hi, Cloud. Okay. Also, usually the uh, boss of any given level, I'm pretty sure it goes by really quickly, given by me having found them so easy and so on that I authentically don't remember any of them. You see things in the background that haven't been drawn, but is that just going to be the thing I have to draw for this area? At which point, I leave this area forever once I've drawn it. So it seems kind of pointless. Darn it. Still paying the price of those springs not being an actual springboard and not animating appropriately accordingly. Okay, you can move now. Whatever. Where are those yetis? Stop it. What's the point of drawing something there? Oh, I see what the point of drawing something there is. Whoops. No. Still love that. I don't want you know, I want the actual Yeti. I want to actually finish all the stuff this game tells me to do. Just to see if there's ever actually a point. Ah! Game. No, you need to actually... You need to work, game. What? Work. Thank you. Hello. All I needed. I still love the euphemism of capture for beating on the head. Repeatedly. Why do you keep making monkey noises? There we go. There we go. I, I see the idea you could have stacked things to get up there. That's a cute, fun idea, but did not end up actually doing it. Oh, it's only an acorn. I was wondering if it would be 
Why an acorn? I was thinking we'd be doing like all sorts of different clouds. And it would be like all the clouds come together to, to show us the way. I'm actually pretty disappointed that that's not what's happening now. Instead, it's just a super tiny acorn. Um, a thing that grows on the tree of ages. Um, here's a weird reference. It's not really a thing. Not exactly a thing grows on a tree, but whatever. It's close enough. I don't even remember what this thing looks like in its source material, but I'm going to say this is a reference to it. This is intended as a reference to it. Um, this is intended as a reference to the Golden Sunflower Seed. The uh, final objective, I guess, of Marble Saga Kororimpa. Which, I mean, the game doesn't really have a story, and the story backdrop is kind of pointless in that game. But it's kind of cute. So I appreciate its existence, nevertheless. Okay, so there are only two of those to do, because okay, there's a third up top. I fear there'd be like four. In part because there are four yetis to find. Where's my yeti? Yes, yeah, so now there's lots of seeds just hanging from this tree. A little silly, but it's okay. I don't know why the cave drawing is just floating out in front, though. I'm not sure what the rationale for that is. Well, there better be two whole yetis in here. Oh, that was the clap one? Do I just go through that other door now? Joey, explain. Of course you have no answer for me, Joey. Why would I ever expect that? Can't go forward that way. Authentically unsure what we're supposed to do right here. Like we've gone in here already. Let me drew the seeds. We went on the left here. There's still something missing here. But I already have Cloud, don't I? I was thinking I've already... This, this looked up to me like the exit from another area that we've already been in. But no, we already drew cloud what other cloud does cloud have a twin we didn't know about what's going on come on it's a different template what in the world what's going on do they have multiple why do I always go up and set it down do they have multiple drawings with the exact same name the first one I drew Cloud for was just called Cloud, right? I'm certain it was. Well, whatever. I'm I'm going with the idea that each of these are different clouds. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a reality what I thought was gonna happen, where we draw like different kinds of clouds. I don't know what different kinds of clouds we even imagine there being. There's a cloud. There's a rain cloud. Maybe a storm cloud will be the other one. That's what I figured I would do. Because we had the storm cloud moving platforms in the first game. So this one will be a storm cloud. Okay, a little... A vague imitation of going in a straight line would be fantastic.
Alright, just try to at least fill in the little bits of alias whatever here. So it doesn't bother me too much. It feels marginally less lazy and rushed. Even though being drawn kind of quickly and crudely is also the idea of cloud here. It's only a certain kind of quick, lazy sort of thing. There we go. All the clouds come together. Look at that. Just... Just drop me down the pit. You don't have to do this. The game decided it should be practically impossible to die in the final levels for some reason. Okay, but I'm still expecting two Yetis here. There's a Yeti. You're under arrest. I don't even, I don't even remember why. I still don't think this is within the jurisdiction of, of Cricket, but... Not my problem if we end up causing some kind of international incident here. Your attack is so slow to wind up, it's actually quite annoying trying to attack something while jumping towards it. What's the point of this here? I guess the point, the idea is that that platform can somehow be of use to you? I'm not clear. I guess I could instead draw a platform here and do that. Yeah. I can do that multiple times as well. Or I could just kind of... Ah, come on. Oh, what's on the right here? I feel like I'm missing something somewhere. I don't know which way I should be going right now. going. At this point, if it's even possible, I kind of want to go back. HA! It's possible! I did it! Oh, um, thank you? That's a weird place to put me. This actually does bring me back to where I, want, where I wanted to be anyways. I think. Is this where I want to be? Um, close enough, yeah. Let's see what's up here. Um, I'll take it. Quickly enough, I can get up this way, I'm certain.
Honestly, both of these paths go so long, I can't tell which way is actually required to progress. Like, there's a... Okay. There's a checkpoint here. doing here? Um, what are you sliding on? Oh, this just brings me back to where I was. Wait, what? was there any point to uh, not just going to the right? Was I supposed to be able to go to the right? I feel like I wanted to do something fairly creative here. I think they kind of want me to... push this if it's even possible. Uh, not easy. Don't fall over. Man, I think that was roughly what they actually wanted me to do. I'm really getting inventive with these things now. I'm actually asking you to do some fairly fancy stuff. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Jeez. Okay. Man, they're going crazy with the physics stuff today. Haven't I punched you before? Like, successfully, I mean? Whatever. Keep an eye out for that Yeti. Yetis are extinct. Fantastic. Leaves. Oh, boy. I can't really think of any notable leaves, I don't think, in my life. But I could just kind of follow the, the pattern so far. Of golden things. Golden sunflower seed. Golden leaf. Or maybe it's like a sunflower petal, I don't know. Get that little crease in the middle. I 
hope I don't regret trying to make this episode just last until the end of the game. I don't know, we'll see. I think we're pretty much out of game though at this point. The one thing I might do afterwards is just, well, not might, I, I promise to do it, is a little sports thing, but other than that. I think we should just have quick boss, probably not a lot of an ending in this game if I had to imagine. And then we're good. <laughs> Looks awkwardly tiled, repeated everywhere, but okay, cool. Also, we took a branch from it or something, I guess. Go away. Fine. Thought there'd be a final boss or something. Maybe there will be after this instead. I don't know. No chase. I thought this would be the last level, but oh well. We'll totally trust you to do that. Uh huh. In here, we're outside. Huh. I kind of figured she was actually well from in disguise. Nope. Just... Yeah, we're going all like Lion King sequel on this. Except like, there's actual relationship between them instead of them being written out partway through because, whoops, these two characters are related. Because they didn't realize that making two characters related made other characters transitively related and so on. Anyways. Again, where did she come from anyways? But, whatever. Scribble, scribble, scribble. We're just gonna sit here and let her do that? We're just gonna wait. <laughs> Loading screen! Okay, there we go. <laughs> I forgot this game had cutscenes like this. I like this. I would have loved to see more cutscenes in this style. Oh, this is actually an interesting turn. I thought, at first I was gonna joke, this is just what it's like trying to draw stuff in this game. Now she tries and now she's, she sees how awful it is trying to draw things in this game. Super brief, but like, I like the style. I would have loved to see more of that. And to see the game lean into it a bit more. Like, that's where the game has a, that's like the only place I feel like this game has personality, at least in terms of like visuals and whatnot. Gameplay-wise, you still have the physics, drawings, things. That's the name of the level. Okay, interesting. Why are you writing in caps? Okay. Is that the drawing? We didn't really see what the drawing looked like. Hi, Mary. Uh, I don't need that right now, thank you. I don't get the... Can I jump on you? No. Can I punch you? Yes, I do. I don't want that right now. I do appreciate, too, that you get to actually use the drawing platforms and whatnot. I just can't touch that. That's annoying. Bonk. Bonk. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Hello? Uh, was that supposed to happen? Oh, well, I grabbed that. Oh, maybe I had to do the ground pound, because I can actually do that again now. I went so not being able to do it. That's what it is. I wasn't able to do it, because the game had 
just let me from doing it for so long. Oh, now, now I can actually just punch in general. Why can't I punch now? You saw me trying to punch him earlier. No, so you have to, you have to, st no, I think you just have to, in general, ground pound them. I'm not, I'm trying to ground pound, and they're in an area where pressing B tends to make you draw things, because your cursor will tend to be close to it. Whoa, why did I just, is that, what in the world? Was this a thing I could always do? If I hold down and then jump, I just start sliding really fast. Was that always a mechanic? I know I just killed myself doing that, but, oh, what the heck? Was that always a thing? Hey. I'm hitting you. Acknowledge me. Ah, stop that. Okay, now I'm just getting myself killed. There you go. Okay, I kind of wish... No, why can't I hit you here? I kind of wish I could talk to her to activate the health again. Instead of it always being this way. You get two hits if you actually punch afterwards. I don't know why that is, but... Darn it! It's hard to not hit that thing. Oh, oh man, if you I mentioned him a few times there somehow. This is a kind of weird fight. I do like them having tried to fit the drawing into it, but. It being really hard to not accidentally pick up the healing is also just really annoying. I have no idea how far along I am in the fight. Oh, thank you. Would appreciate that, actually. There we go. Oh, nice little cart there. And they're just really showing off having been attacked, I guess. Yeah, this is getting a little repetitive. Okay, that was kind of a weird experience, but... Also, I'm just floating on you. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Kind of weird, that whole thing. But yeah, I didn't expect that she would actually just be... Also a loading screen. Just be Wolfer's lover. That's a... A funny little... Idea. I like how the fireworks are coming from Joey. Didn't see that coming. Well, some part of it. I wonder if it's accidental that both games, both next chapter games, end up doing the whole, oh hey, there, it's a shadowy person disguise thing. Just putting words in my mouth. Or good. <laughs> Why aren't you moralizing now, Joey? Bittersweet how? What's the bitter part? Odd. I don't know why these people are glowing. I, I think Granoy has one piece of dialogue. This is kind of silly, but sure, I guess it's working.
Oh. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Why am I not allowed up there? <laughs> what is with this game? Hi, Galileo. That's a sound. Also, Heather has much more ornate ways of speaking now for some reason. Yeah, so could I always do this? Yeah, you could always do this slide. I mean, the slide is so overpowered, I didn't realize you could do this. You just hold down and jump. Or hold down and press A. Pretty counterintuitive. It can only it only goes so far, but that's really good to have. That would have been really nice. Oh, I guess we're saying that she's a casualty? Uh, sure. I guess Wilford kind of possessed the... I guess Wilford kind of possessed the mannequin as described, and then just killed her, and then fought us. And not a lot to it. So yeah, saccharine's not even the right word for it, it's just kind of... Look at them! <laughs> okay, that's amusing. But yeah, this game, not much of a... I'm not surprised people never talk about this one in the series. It's, it doesn't really stand up to the others. Aside, leaving aside that it's not made by the same people, but you can tell. But yeah, this was not, on the whole, uh, a nice adventure, to be honest. I, I wish I could say more good things about it, but <laughs> as things progressed, it's just, wow, more and more things I just liked. I like Janine's drawing. The, the pirate cat. But, um, I mean, this is really, really cool. I really like that everyone did little doodles. <laughs> of course, the character artist is showing off. But, um... Yeah, this was... This game just gave me a bad feeling of, like, it's, it's astoundingly unpolished. I don't know how this happened, but it certainly did. Uh... It feels like a watered down. I, it feels like I feel like this really is what it is. Well, it doesn't just feel like it, but it feels like a watered down take of someone who saw the first game and thought, "Let's do something kind of similar," but a little bit too similar in the sense that like it didn't go any interesting or directions or anything. It just kind of it went even fewer directions than the first. <laughs> it's pretty disappointing on the whole, honestly. Um, I. I tend to call game, like, my, usually my main way of, like, criticizing by faint praise is to call something harmless, but I don't know if I can even fully just call this one harmless. It feels like there's too much stuff that's not polished and they can just waste your time and so on for you to actually even say that. It's a little bit on the side of, like, this is probably actively a poor use of your time to play. I don't think I've ever said something quite like that about a game that I played on this channel. I've admitted to non enjoying games before a few times, but, yeah, this is this is unfortunate. It's unfortunate seeing the, the Drawn to Life name on a game like this. But, at least, it was just forgotten rather than anything worse happening. That's a lot of thanks, by the way, jeez. <laughs> Plus, special thanks, and very special thanks, to all of Fifth Cell, absolutely. And of course you get the, the people from the publisher and so on. I'm not sure how... I, it probably depends on the publisher, how hands-on the publishers really are in a game. It always feels kind of weird seeing the, the people who actually worked hands-on on a game and then seeing, put right next to their names, the people who, from the publisher who didn't just kind of be a bunch of his ex and so on, I feel like. But, I guess that's kind of what happens with a publisher. But I, I don't really know what it's like working in the game industry from the perspective of, like, getting a thing published by a publisher. I don't, I get the impression the relationship between a studio and publisher can vary a good deal. Um, and sometimes you have a studio and publisher together that is, like, in, within a single entity under a single name. Um, i trying to think of a good example. Like Nintendo, I guess you'd say. Nintendo polishes their own stuff. 
just as an easy example. In which case, it's probably a fairly different setup as well from that standpoint. I don't know. Anyways, I, uh, as is the usual case, I will still let the credits go through all the way. I like seeing all the credits. I'm like, well, I don't know if anyone's trying to go through the credits to see if there's anything useful in them, if they want to like see who worked on what or anything. Uh, are we done? <laughs> but don't even make the credits fade out. Come on, guys. But I, know, I feel like there's a certain worth of like uh, just making sure everyone who worked on a thing has their name known. So what now? As uh, best I can tell, literally no point ever at all in actually doing any of those side missions. I'm pretty certain I did all of them, and there was no point to any of it. Although I can't, well, it might be, I might be speaking too soon, because I haven't actually gone back to Cricket yet. To actually turn to my, my last... The last thing that I've done. I should go in all the other buildings, too, see those things. Oh, um... Okay, I was just saying, well, where's Isaac? I don't know why Isaac's gone. As promised, though, I will do the sports stuff. I know who you are, Isaac. Thank you. I'd be surprised if I found literally everything. Oh, I missed one. Missed a hat. Missed something in Jungala. Got all the Shadow City stuff. Repose of things. That's funny. Oh, don't make it the soda buy things. Yeah, it's stuff from the different characters. That's cool. I never felt like it was really a good way to use these stamps, though. Like, they don't really fit into anything that you make, so... They won't look right stylistically and so on, so... All the palettes, very nice. There's still some templates I'm missing. How am I missing templates like those? I guess I just didn't find them. Can't see them very well, unfortunately. I think that's just a graphical bug with the emulation, unfortunately. A sketchy one. Okay. Now I'll talk to everyone and then sports. And that'll be it. And I don't... I still don't expect to go back and play the third game, ignoring the existence of this one, that was made um, many years later. And that's all he has to say. And what, is there no like post-game dialogue from anyone or something? It's pretty disappointing, if so. Ew, what an adventure this was. But yeah, um, just having not heard generally good things about it, I, I won't swear it off. I won't say absolutely not, but I won't do it next, I don't think. Oh, you have the same dialogue. Okay, fantastic. I do really like the... Uh, The idea of stuff getting filled in throughout the throughout the town as you draw stuff. I don't feel like it was okay. There's no real point in that. Um, I don't feel like it was put off as I don't feel like it was used as extensively as it could have. If there was a more extensive town to explore. I think that could have been a really fun idea, but didn't get used that way. There was potential. It was a good idea, I think. And it could have been a, a really good use of this town where you actually run around a platform. The same way that you did in levels, but that's not really what they actually did. And everyone only has one piece of dialogue now. I think we saw everything in the farmhouse, but I'll just make sure. Yeah, all this we've seen, I believe. Zasha, ready to say goodbye? 
Do you have more stuff for me to do? You said I found all the stuff for you. Oh? What was that? Oh. Okay. Did I have a sword that I just didn't draw at some point or something? I thought I did draw a sword. I'm not sure what's going on here, but... Okay, so now I actually I just get to use... So, in re... So that's weird. So from Zasha, I actually got a weapon. That is, that is I got the, the sword that I, I can just now use anywhere, apparently. That's a cool reward. Um, not that it actually really matters, since there's nothing else to do in the game at this point, I feel like, but... It's something. I feel acknowledged. Um, if I remember out, I don't see myself getting anything from him. Maybe you only get that from Sasha from having done stuff for everyone instead of getting something from each character that you do all the quests for. I guess that's possible. I'm kind of assuming there's nothing that I'm missing for not having actually done all of the drawings. Because I did skip one, strictly speaking. Sports drawings. That went so out. Oh, no. <laughs> Not what I wanted. That windsock actually turned out pretty well, I was saying, though. Hey, look at that. That actually looks pretty good. At least compared to the other stuff, that looks pretty good from here at this size. Cloud. What? Well, okay. Yeah, see, that's the sword. I don't know why I can't see it. Could be a issue with the game or something. Not rendering right, right? I don't know. Right, I know. It could be an emulation issue, I guess. Visual bugs tend to be that. Come on. Oh, now I have it. Okay, cool. Yeah, now I just always have my sword on me. How do I get something from Cookie too? Um, what do you mean? I am stuck. Also, uh, our guest star in this game is still alive, apparently. I guess we'll see what her dialogue says. We kind of said she died or something, but whatever. Who will die tonight? Apparently no one. Or Wilfer re-died, I don't know. Although Wilfer wasn't considered to be the one who died in the first game either, so... But presumably he's trying to give me something. I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, maybe I don't get it back anymore. He's trying to give me something. I guess we're doing all the stuff for him. She has nothing to say. Understandable. You have nothing to say, apparently. Or no nothing to give me. Yeah, I hate how they say the same thing from the ending. That's awful. I don't even have new dialogue. Am I missing something here? Uh, shouldn't I be able to... Okay, there you go. So I was thinking, I'm supposed to be able to get up here, aren't I? Oh, okay. Yep. And one or two other buildings I'm missing. On the right. Yeah, I don't really know what happened now with... With Cookie there. Yeah, we've already done everything in here. And she's awkward, not, awkward that she's still there, but you can't talk to her. And other characters aren't anywhere. Just even stranger. Even characters that were in certain places the entire time.
just can't talk to Cricket anymore. I I would like to know what Cookie was trying to give me, but something just broke. Does Zaja still want to give me stuff? No. Okay, um, something's wrong. I guess never mind whatever that was supposed to be. Uh, that's unfortunate. But I'm curious what it was, if it was like the, the shooter or something, I don't know. Which of course I never drew in that case. Okay. Uh, something's bugged out on the top there, I feel like. Let's see what these other things are. I'll probably just use templates for these, honestly. Or anything it asks me to draw right now. But, just to finally see what these minigames are, and then we'll head on home. And by that I mean I'll just stop recording the video. Shoot, steal with A, B to pass, and switch players. It seems like it's the exact same game. But hockey. I'm having an extraordinarily hard time telling who I'm controlling. Okay, there we go. Wait, no, it, but whoever has the arrow over the head is not necessarily who's being played as. This is... Yeah, it feels like it's just the same game with a very slightly different skin. It's amazing how slow that fade out is when you pause. Okay, um, are the other games also just exactly the same thing? What were the other ones? One was basketball, I don't remember what the other one was. Basketball seems like it's probably exactly the same thing, except maybe there's a different mechanic with throwing into the hoop, I don't know. I mean, this looks like, it's, I'm pretty sure what I played just now was exactly the same as this arc we already played. Maybe slightly different physics for the puck sliding around or something, I don't know. Hookah net. Which is which? Or what are these different ones, though? No, it's just basketball. I'm curious how the throwing in the hoop actually works. Because that one might actually be different. Uh, sounds pretty much the same so far. Yeah, so throwing is actually different. Oh, not the right way of doing that. It's ridiculously easy, I, it looks like, to actually shoot once you're close to the thing, though. But okay. Uh, there's a slight variation there. Now what's this last one? What's the net one? I can't think of another game that would actually be really similar that you'd call Rapo Net or whatever they called it. But I I think those characters did give me stuff and reward for doing all their all the things they asked me for. It's weird I can't seem to do that anymore. Maybe something got broken when, like, next to the game there. I don't know. But, um... Volleyball. It is volleyball. Interesting. So this is actually, like, playing volleyball, not like the other three. Which are just the same thing. Switch players drop. Nice jump animation. Uh, what was that about switching players? I do not seem to be able to switch players in reality. Oh, I'll give them credit for having me something that's actually different. You cannot move and jump at the same time, apparently. Or move and charge and jump, I mean to say. That seems like enough of that, to be honest. 
But yeah, so, no more complaints about them not giving you anything. In fact, they seem to give you a gameplay thing reward for completing all those missions, which is actually an improvement over what the DS game did, I will be honest. So, no complaints about that, even though they could have, you know, like, helped give you some idea that that was going to happen. Uh, but again, like, th there's no use for this gameplay stuff anymore after having completed the game, but whatever. So, awkward ending to uh, the Draw to Life adventure, honestly. <laughs> I have a feeling if we go back to the game that was made later at some point, then we'll also think to ourselves again, also an awkward ending, because people were pretty lukewarm about it, it sounds like. But we'll see. Maybe that at some point, but not right now, I don't think. So, in that case, that will be everything for this odd little game. Very odd. It feels weird using this to cap off Drawn to Life as a whole, because I barely even think of this as a game in the same vein as the first two. I enjoyed the first two quite a lot, and I'm happy to have played those. Uh, series, I mean to say. This game is, well, uh, I guess I have got to see it at least. How odd. Anyways, that's that. Alright. See ya, and I have a few things in mind for what I can play next, so we'll see what I end up doing. But whatever it is, I have a few things I want to play, so we're ready for that. Bye, everyone. And thank you to those who accompanied me on this whole long adventure, too. It was much appreciated. I probably said that before already, but it goes again. <laughs>